Today's air quality alert has you flashing back to memories of last year's summer of smoke. Don't worry. KIMT Storm Team 3 meteorologist Travis Clark-Smith is clearing the air for us. He has our air quality outlook for 2024. As wildfires once again wreak havoc on our neighbors to the north, the smoke plume hitches a ride on the wind and makes its way into our backyards. Interestingly, some of the smoke that is wafting our direction today is coming from fires that have been burning since 2023, re-emerging now after burning underground through the winter. David Brown, an air quality forecaster with the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, explains. But those fires across British, British Columbia were likely holdovers from the fall of 2023, um, just based on um, some of the fire perimeter data that's available. More recent fires, believed to have been started by lightning, are also burning. The addition of the smoke from these new fires led to this early drop in the local air quality. Luckily, after today, we can expect the smoke to taper off and stay away for a little while as wildfire conditions improve in northwestern Canada. It's looking at the um, kind of the long range um, outlook up there too, and it does look to be a little bit cooler and wetter um, across Western Canada over the, the next couple of weeks. So that's kind of encouraging. Now, many of us remember last year's summer of smoke when 21 air quality alerts over a combination of 52 days affected our area. I asked David what we can expect in the upcoming season. We're expecting a, a, a pretty active uh, wildfire season, but still not anything as extreme as what we saw in in 2023, we still think that was a pretty extreme outlier. We're expecting maybe um, somewhere above five to seven alerts this summer. When the air quality gets to the unhealthy levels, minimize time outdoors and avoid physical exertion when you must be outdoors. It may also be helpful to wear a mask to filter out particulate matter and be sure to close windows to prevent the smoke from coming indoors. Meteorologist Travis Clark Smith, KIMT News 3. Our Storm Team 3 meteorologists remind us that an air quality alert is in place for all of southeastern Minnesota and portions of North Iowa through 11 p.m. While air quality is poor for everyone today, we do expect to see improvements tomorrow.